Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Just under two months ago, the production order for the Donnell Badger Infantry Fighting Vehicle was activated by the South African Department of Defence. Now, Donnell Land Systems has briefed the media on the programme. Keith Campbell was there. The Badger combines a South African turret with a Finnish designed but South African modified vehicle. The South African Army has ordered 238 badges in five variants. The Netherlands System CEO Stefan Berger explains the importance of this program to his company and to the local defence industry. Uh, look, it's, it's hugely important. It, uh, it is a, it's a very big contract, it's a multi-billion rand contract, which will be delivered over, over 10 years or executed over 10 years. So, so it, uh, it also covers all the technologies from, from a, a gun or a mortar capability, missile capability, right through ve to vehicle and protection capability. So it, it really encapsulates all the, all the requirements for, for, to have a strategic combat system capability in the industry of South Africa. Uh, it is, it is hugely important to Denel Land Systems, but also important to Denel because the, the wider Denel will also be producing the ammunition, the mortars, uh, the missiles and so on. But more importantly, it, is, it will rejuvenate the, the defense, landward defense industry in South Africa. Uh, we expect that uh, through this program, uh, 2,000 jobs will be created in industry and it will definitely revitalize uh, a, a capability in South Africa that's, that's always been very strong but has been struggling over the past because of a lack of orders. Fortunately, we have already been successful in, in uh, obtaining an export order uh, to the Far East. Uh, we received a, a order for three different variants of turrets uh, to Malaysia. Uh, the value of that contract in today's rand value uh, or exchange rate is approximately 3.5 billion rand and that contract will be executed over the next uh, first year has lapsed uh, over the next uh, six years still so it's a seven year contract. Very important uh, to, to demonstrate also our effectiveness and competitiveness as this was a, a, a multi-country tender. Uh, uh, on the back of those successes, we expect some more orders coming, forthcoming uh, for, the, for the total badger system. Uh, it was uh, up to now not possible to market the total, the total system in the world because uh, we first needed to place the, the developmental, uh, the production contract on some of our uh, uh, suppliers that uh, there are f some foreign suppliers to, to ensure transfer of technology to South Africa. South Africa-based Mine Support Products, or MSP, launched its new in-house dynamic testing facility in Vereniging in Johannesburg last month, which it says is the first of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. Sashni Moodley has the story. The 3.5 million rand investment consists of a vertical press that can accurately simulate underground seismic activity by testing static loads up to 100 tonnes and dynamic loads of 40 tonnes at 3 metres per second. The new dynamic testing facility um, was, was built to, to test the MSP products um, to make sure it complies with industry standards and also that we maintain the, the right quality standards within our company. Um, and the facility basically consists of a vertical press um, that we use to, to test our products in terms of static loads, um, 30 millimeters per minute up to 100 tons, and dynamic uh, loads of at 3 meters per second at about 20 tons. This uh, simulates a, a seismic event. Other news making headlines this week, the Department of Public Works program boosts scarce and critical built environment skills, and a security technology firm considers its South African manufacturing options. 
As the Department of Public Works emerges from the intensive care unit and has stabilized, the department is now moving to develop critical and scarce skills to maintain the momentum, says Public Works Minister Tulas Nguesi. This program should be seen against the background of us trying to rebuild the technical capacity of, of Public Works. Um, the reality is that a lot of technical professionals left the department and uh, there was some exodus and it's part of the reason why you see such a number of problems in public works. Government must also be a training space. Some of these young professionals who are training, it's with an intention of retaining them, of retaining them within the department in order to improve that technical capacity. Safety and security technology provider International Security Consulting is in high-level negotiations with large South African companies with regard to the distribution and sale of its proactive security solutions. The technology comes from Israel. A very high level security technology, homeland security technology. Um, in the market here in South Africa, especially with the crime so high, um, especially against the cash in transit, whether it's ATMs or it's uh, armored vehicles being burnt and shot at, and the crime rate being so high, violent crime, we decided to come out here. So we're going to manufacture and um, assemble on license this technology in South Africa now. And at the end of the day, we have to save lives. All our products have a very high focus on saving lives. The Magna camera, the UAV, it's all proactive stuff. So we can see with the Magna, like a radar, for example, but now we can actually see a picture through the clouds, through the smoke, and you pick up movement. You pick up sand moving underground in pitch darkness, which is an amazing feature. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.